a lot of people actually right now are in their feelings okay a lot of people are in their feelings i don't know why how but it's a man here that's making these people feel so worked up okay this week there is a plane from um this gentleman this is the president of uae his plane lands in eastern cape today on the 20 million rand runway he built himself with his entourage you know a lot of people were so concerned because they were like where is this coming from we did not expect this to happen like why didn't we hear about these people coming into the country is this the kind of situation that happened with the guptas just land in south africa like a rainfall that just came out of nowhere you know because a lot of things happen Kumzanze, right now it's like a lot of people are like wait 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 what is just happening like what is ramaphosa involved in this like obviously he is probably involved you know this this is the relationship that he has this is a pre a president of the whole country who is he gonna have relationship with economic relationship with the president of south africa he knows he knows exactly what's going on and a lot of people and the government officials they know what's going on i don't think this guy would just like you know decide to to fly all these flights are monitored by uh, 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 uh faaa right faaa faaa i think that's what it's called they are all registered by that they can't just fly like that since that airport traffic controlled everything it's it, who and to find defense africa who, which plane is going to land at what time the plane from where and these people know exactly what is going on and I don't know i think it was a little bit of misunderstanding the people were actually expecting to be informed about things like this but some things some some things you guys are, are not supposed to know especially this is like the elite affluent very rich people this is like we, we talk about dubai people here what are you guys thinking were you guys thinking that you, you are going to be told that now, of course he's going to get a special treatment especially after he bought the whole freaking land the whole freaking land and renovated the land i don't know if he bought the airport or he just decided to the airport has never been used since 1990 something and he decided to renovate the airport and build the airport to accommodate the plane he brought the whole freaking a private jet with five helicopters the medical helicopter the the ones that you're going to be uh, using for the leisure and actually i found out that he also had bought a piece of land somewhere there where he he made um it's like a little reserve where they're going to be it's like a resort where that he built um he bought the land two years ago and then he built this resort and this is something that he's been planning for years you know if he bought this piece of land uh two years ago and decided to you know build himself that's one thing about these countries like countries like this where you know if people have so much control where a local people actually don't mean really much you know they don't have a say about that you know these are really really strict countries you say shit you out you say you complain about him using the money misusing the money you out you know they are they don't play like that in in uae so it's like is his personal money or is this the kind of money like this is very strange it's very strange but i'm so i was so surprised that you know people will be surprised that uh he did this the main reason i was uh, to celebrate the end of the the ramadan according to the uh news 24 the end of ramadan week so he's pretty much in the country right now having fun with the family he came with all the stuff the artists from dubai that are going to be performing for him people are saying why why aren't they getting cleared through uh you know they have airports in east london they have airports in um pe they have airport like where these planes can land but apparently the kind of plane he was bringing down cannot land because i think it's a boeing i, I don't think they, i don't even know it's i don't even know what kind of plane is that i'm thinking the mail can clean but okay we get it um one person who was involved in this is the um the eastern cape premier oscar Mbu, Mbu mabuyani the eastern cape premier the eastern cape premier oscar mabuyani knew about this okay all the proper procedures were followed all the clearance everything was done um i guess they had their own private team who went 
there to clear these people. You know, they get a private treatment, private everything, private clearance. That passport gets stamped there. I don't even know if that passport that passport get. I don't even know if that passport got stamped to be honest, because like. Did they designate a crew from the other airport that they drove over there because the airport was not working? They send the crew over there that's going to be handling uh, the passports and stuff like that, stamping them in, stamping them out. It just doesn't make sense uh, for the kind of treatment, of course. You know, it's just kind of like concerning. But we know this is, at the end of the day, you know, they're saying it's a vacation, but, uh a business relationship that a UAE could potentially have with South Africa. So, um, hey, I would, I like, I wish this guy would have went to Lesotho and renovate the airport Lesotho because yo, ki disaster. The international airport, it's a, it's disaster. He would have done that, you know. Come over here, come renovate this this airport and lunch your lunch your lunch your plane over here. Lunch <laughs> your plane over here and have fun with your people. You welcome here and then leave. And then the airport can be, you know, no can work normal like other airports. Like right now we don't even have an airport to be honest, because that's that is like it's a death trap. Like honestly, that's a the Lesotho airport. It actually appears in one of the the uh, the, the the most dangerous airport in in the freaking in the freaking world. Like seriously, it's a, it's a freaking death trap. How about that? Well, yeah, a lot of people are actually concerned about that. So I don't know. I don't know. I think people are just exaggerating this because of how they feel and all of that. But at the end of the day, this is. The decision in Twinkiwana is not like this guy just decided that he was gonna go there and da, 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 da. I mean he planned the whole trip, but according to the news, it's, it's not like you know he just decided that oh I'm gonna go there, I'm just gonna disrespect everybody and then let him. Come. But the one thing that's just concerning right now, people they bring their animals, they bring all these diseases. You know, if you coming in with a private plane, you coming with your pets, with your dog, because he brought everything he had like he brought everything you know what i'm saying like he can bring this foreign pests foreign stuff that don't even get cleared go airport they, they don't even get searched allegedly do you know how much threat this can cause in the community ice and cape do you know how much call how much damage how much threat this can possess on these people Looks like y'all don't have any idea. Because I don't think if somebody comes with... If the president of of uh, our freaking UAE comes in with a, a freaking uh, bed. You know how they have like those birds that like, that bites dogs and cats? You know the birds that they have as they are... They, are, they, they have on their flag and something like that? I think that's, that's the bed that they have. You know them birds? What if they carry some sort of like a disease and stuff like that? You never know. That's a little bit too much. That's a little bit too much. And people are actually feeling some type of way about this. People are actually feeling some type of way about this. I don't know. Um, if you like Facebook, Facebook has some very interesting things right now. If you like Facebook and you resided in the United States from 2007, I believe, until 2021 or 2022, you are eligible to claim um to claim for the funds this is the there was a massive um a class action uh lawsuit uh they lost to that lawsuit and they are they have agreed to settle about 725 million to the people who got affected by this uh breaching of the um you know one might ask Corina, why was this like why well, why are people getting a lot of money like this in the first place okay what was the result what happened they um pretty much the this lawsuit drew from um a, it was it was a class action lawsuit that was prompted back in 2018 after facebook disclosed the information of 87 million users um that was actually shared with Cambridge. Oh my God! Oh my God! 
87 million users their information was actually shared to cambridge illegally shared to cambridge and they have agreed to settle for 725 million so 87 million users were affected by this 87 million users and this is only the u.s users and unfortunately i was part of that too because i actually uh i am eligible to get the money I actually let me show you i actually got the um i got the notification from them that i should file for um here it is that i should file for uh i wish i can share my screen i don't want to share my screen because i don't want to show you guys what i have on my screen but i can actually let me share this part only and show you this is really interesting so our information was actually shared to the cambridge without our knowledge you know you know so right now facebook is very very is very clever when it comes to like sharing this information when you sign up for facebook you have to agree to the terms that you're gonna they're gonna be selling your information this is what they're gonna be doing with your information and then you have to pretty much click yes 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 you agree this is what they have this is what i got so i am i am actually already filed the claim for this i don't know how much i'm going to get <laughs> i don't know how much i'm going to get from this but this is pretty much what i got on my feed check your notification if you resided uh, in united states from 2007 up until 2022 and you were using facebook as a u.s user this is not eligible for people that that are outside united states if you were not in the United States within that time uh, within that time frame, you are not eligible for it. You probably might not even get this notification because this notification is sent to the people that were actually in a state. Um, so I got that notification and I already filed. So uh, when you file this, you you get to choose if you want them to you want them to send you so if you want them to send you the mastercard they have like a debit card that they will send to you or if you want to do um a direct deposit ach and then what else i can't remember there's like three methods of getting the money back from them uh sending the funds back to you um i already did that it was funny uh so so according to this it's gonna be how many people that got affected by this you know it might be funny when you talk about it right now but when you think about you know things that actually happens when you see like people on their phone sometimes you get all these weird notifications it's like how did these people know that i'm doing this how did these people know that i, I was just little don't you get surprised sometimes when you're on facebook and all of a sudden no 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 you're not on facebook you are actually looking on on your safari you're googling something and then all of a sudden you're on facebook that shit just pop up like wait what just happened or like you were on facebook looking at something you're looking at the ad but then when you go on safari the same thing just pop up or, or you go on instagram it just pop up like wait i was just talking about, don't you think don't you like use your brain and kind of like add two to two and two together these people they use our information and unfortunately um right now facebook is very wise enough to make it aware to the people that actually uses it about when talk listen this is what we're going to do with your information but there's an option to choose you can actually go on a settings if you don't want your information to be shared to the third parties you go in there and then you turn it off i turn i turn off mine even though i mean i'm, I'm i get the ads of course the prepaid ads and stuff but they are not giving out my information to people outside you know third parties outside i don't want to be getting no emails or something you know weird i'm like i've never signed up for these people why am i getting the the marketing email why am i getting this and this and this and this you might want to find out so they are according to the lawsuit they said how many people how many people got affected 87 million people okay so let me count how much i'm getting <laughs> i'm already counting how much i'm getting from that 725 million share shit shit, <laughs> shit. 725 million uh 87 000 people 
87 million people, you're getting only eight dollars. <laughs> you're getting eight dollars. You literally, <laughs> yeah, I'm getting that eight dollars from them. Okay, I'm getting that eight dollars. Eh? <laughs> I'll use it towards my internet. That's what I'm gonna be using that for. Shit, come in, money. So, 725 million uh, privacy lawsuit. Well, the Facebook parent Meta agreed to pay that sum of money to the people. Okay? So, you better be careful out there when you sign up for these things. And I've seen people like, y'all remember the app that was like a, a while back? Like, last year there was an app that a lot of people were, were using. Like, was it like a to sing or something like that it was like a russian app apparently a lot of people got affected by that you know it was stealing people's information and people don't even pay attention to that and there's another app that actually um changes it, i think it changes your your face or something like that and then you you take a picture the first two pictures that you take you agree to the app that you give them permission to own those photos you literally agreed uh, for them to own your images, your first three images that you're going to take because that thing is going to ask you verify your pictures. You're going to take a selfie and then you, you, you click on selfie one. It's going to say try again. You take the second one and then you do the second one and then you, you do next, 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 agree, agree, agree. You don't even read, you know, we just agree, agree. And they, they pretty much tells you that the first three pictures that you take, those they are gonna own them i think it was no it wasn't snapchat it was actually on instagram i think yeah i think it was on instagram that's why a lot of people were affected you know and people like oh they were so scared people started deleting the apps on their phone i'm like it's too late to delete the app you know these people they have your information they have your your face they have that they can encrypt so much information with just your face so gotta be careful out here really really gotta be careful all right um this meta situation the facebook meta situation it's 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 really really it was real i was really frustrated when i found out but but let me tell you that's actually nothing considering the fact that you know that there's people that their social security got get compromised um uh, you know like th their information gets pulled in the dark web it gets really, really, really serious. It can get really, really, really serious sometimes. But when you think about this right now, it's like, mm. I mean, Facebook, I trust Facebook. You know, I don't think my information can end up being in a dark web or something like that. But, um, you know, but it is what it is. They're going to give us the eight dollars. We <laughs> see what we will do with eight dollars. But, um, it was a great week, of course, okay? We're going to move right on to another topic. Yo, this was trending actually yesterday. I had the privilege of watching this fight, okay? And this is like, I was really, really looking forward to this fight. And you guys, people that actually follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been tweeting and I've been not tweeting because I don't have Twitter. I've been uh, 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 sharing a lot of snaps and a lot of information because I, because I follow these two gentlemen here and I've always been following because I've always wanted to see like what are, you know, the strategies that they're going to be using uh, during this fight. And I was really, really impressed when I was watching. I was like, whoa, like at first I was kind of biased when it comes to like this, you know, cho choosing, you know, betting on who is going to be the winner. I thought, honestly, I thought Ryan was going to win this fight before, you know. Uh, Tank, he got a mouth. He talks too much. He had a lot to say during the uh, the, the pre fights and 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 the and the, the conference. He had a lot to say, and I was kind of convinced. But I was like, I know that Ryan has a strength. Ryan had like those strong punches. Like you guys know, Ryan is like he he's uh, his previous fight with the. Um, what was his last fight? I forgot who his last fight was with who. But he was... He's a beast. But... He got two knockouts. He got knocked out twice. Because this was the first one. 
that actually was like this short man he got strength <laughs> he got strength you know when he hit him he just like literally dropped right there he dropped him right there and there i was like whoa did he just did he just drop him but i was like i still have i still have that and i still have that hope that ryan will you know will get back up and fight and then he did but here is what's confusing and what's confusing a lot of people right now a lot of people are actually trying to you know they are saying well it, there's supposed to be a rematch and i'm like well i don't agree with that okay i don't agree with that at the end of the day i felt like tank was still gonna win tank was still gonna win but people are saying that it was it looks like allegedly some money was paid out here it looks like some money was paid out here to maintain the image people are saying that people are saying that the money would there was some sort of like a payola situation that went allegedly allegedly okay that uh that went that went down here and it, remember that you know uh javonta right now he's the face of boxing right now and when you look at him where he where he come from he's just like a, a small town boy who struggled while well, he was not a small town boy but you know he's from maryland i think boston i think uh no not boston where is he from baltimore yeah i think um so people are saying that there's like the way like the last the, the last soft punch that he did you know it was like a freaking brush like listen i watched that part of a five like four five times i kept rewinding just to see listen i don't understand how he just, he kneeled like how he literally went with one knee and just said that he couldn't breathe like i'm like bro like that was i don't think a, a, a soft ass punch like that would make you drop like that like it, it didn't make sense to me at least I mean, even to other people, it not make sense. So people are saying that, well, there's probably a money that got paid out, you know, to maintain uh, 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 um, uh, Tang's image, you know, like, because they got money and stuff like that. It's like, you know what? You take the money and then you just drop in the ring and then you're good and I keep the title. People are saying that. But I don't know if Ryan would do that. Ryan is Christian. Like he's a Christian man. He comes from the Christian family. He's very, very uh, uh, well mannered human being. I don't think he would do something like that. Maybe the team around him, the people that he signed, he signed to, you know, they might, you know, try to. This is money. We're getting our ten percent. You gotta do this. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you just never know. You just never know. But I was so confused. To be honest, I'm not going to lie. Listen, I know I was rooting for both of them to win this fight, but I was really, really confused. I was so confused. Like, what just happened? What just happened here? I was so confused. But another fight that I'm looking forward to is Jake Paul and um, uh, uh, the next fight. Um, uh, shoosh. Let me get it. Uh, Jake Paul and Nate Diaz. Yeah, Jake Paul and Nate Diaz. Yes, I think that's the upcoming fight. Yes, that's the one I'm actually looking forward to. Jake Paul has proven himself to be a real, real boxer. Okay, I'm actually looking forward to that. Uh, it's going to be in August, August 5 in Dallas. I'm definitely going to be uh, watching that on pay per view in short time. I'm for I'm looking forward to 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 watch that. Okay, I mean it was a great week for me. Uh, other than that, guys, it's been a lot that's going on. Like it's been a lot. Okay, it's been a lot, a lot, a lot has happened within a period of a week. Like that big fella, who has been to in the buyer blind.
What can I say? That's about it. I wanted to, to talk. I wanted to to touch base on those two those two topics this week, and um, I'm waiting to do my laundry. I'm actually waiting for my clothes to dry right now, so I can get into my situations. But yeah, um, thank you very much. <laughs> I will see you guys with another video next time. I gotta go now. Peace out.